So we are less than one day away from NASA and SpaceX's crew to mission tomorrow morning at 549, 23 hours from now. Four astronauts are scheduled to blast off from Kennedy Space Center. That launch, you know, was scheduled for this morning. They had to push it back because of weather, not ours, but elsewhere. The four astronauts will be at the International Space Station for six months, and they will conduct 260 scientific experiments. They'll also be doing research for the Artemis program, which would land the first woman and person of color on the moon. Bruce? So they have to have nerves of steel technical prowess, be skilled superhumans who have a passion for space. Why? Because NASA is looking for the next generation of astronauts. Ultimately, they'll circle the Earth on the International Space Station, maybe be on board NASA's Orion spacecraft or the Boeing CST-100 Starliner, or perhaps the SpaceX Crew Dragon. A record-breaking 18,300 people applied for a scant 14 spots, maybe fewer, to be in NASA's next astronaut class. The previous record was set in 1978. Back then, it was 8,000 applicants. The training process will take about two years. It includes training on spacecraft systems, honing spacewalking skills, and teamwork, learning the Russian language, among other things. Over the next 18 months, NASA's Astronaut Selection Board will narrow the list of applicants down. Those who make the cut will interview at Johnson Space Center in Houston. NASA will select a final set of 8 to 14 astronaut candidates to begin training. 